So we solved the problem of this battery. This battery was dead. We cannot find the battery. This battery. I removed this original connector from this original battery for Huawei telephone. And I installed battery for Infinix telephone. I replaced the connectors. Battery for Infinix now is installed in Huawei telephone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, uh, I have this mobile phone. It has problem. When we power on, it powers on. It is working. But after two or three minutes, the battery goes off. Why? Because the battery is ended. And in this area, we cannot find the battery. We can see the battery is near to end. I will connect the battery. The battery is connected. After that, it connected the battery until it is connected. The charger is connected. It will remain power on. But the problem, the battery will not charge fully because the battery is dead. So we will see what we can do. Remove these two screws, one here, one here. You can see. This battery is uh, swollen. Now remove battery. I don't have the same battery here. So I remove it carefully. Very carefully. Because when we remove battery sometimes it makes a very big explosion. <laughs> Remove it carefully. Do not apply too much force. This battery, it is expired. You can see there is a super glue here. I removed it. Now, I don't have the same battery. I have one battery. I will try to install this battery because it have a different connector size. But I can use this. So, we have this one which is lithium ion battery it is 4000 milliampere 3.85 volt and it is 3.82 volt 4000 milliampere this is good battery this is bad battery this one this battery is unserviceable and this battery is good it's 4000 milliampere this 15.3 watt hour and it's 15.4 watt hour this is the same this battery is this battery is same because here is some voltage level difference 3.85 so this is 15.4 the wattage rate is same so I can use this battery to here and we will see how we can use this carefully This circuit I will connect here. So we will use this battery in this device. Here it is insulation paper. We have to connect this insulation paper so we will keep it separate. And now this tape. Okay then
this battery is connected like this so it is the original condition of the battery how it will come now I will check the voltage the polarity the main thing the main test rebuilding the battery because this battery is not available if we will purchase online maybe it will go more than the price of the device so set it to voltage we will check the polarity this one is negative so this area is negative and this one is positive I will check it here wow so polarity is the same I will remove same from here and I will install it here I will show you again it is positive and here it's positive this negative this lead, lead is negative this positive if the polarity is accurate so then there is no need to swap the battery some batteries if some battery have positive here negative here and here we have positive here and the other battery have positive here then you will swap the battery like this so this power positive side will swap to other side if this battery is negative here and this is negative here that means we will just remove this connector and we will connect it here hello 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 alaikum wa alaikum assalam kya haal kya rab shalom alaik amarni so now I will remove the positive end I removed it now take care for the polarity if you forget the polarity here we have negative negative and here we have positive as we removed this was negative and this was positive if you have any battery and you forget the polarity just this negative this positive if you have any battery you can connect to this strip and you can use it I will remove this one because this battery is good I will install this card here so this strip we don't need now this strip will be installed here how we can install this because when it is installed then it will come to this side now you have to see the geometry this negative end now I will show you this battery set it to voltage negative positive negative so our batteries are in correct position how is the fitting we removed from here this is connected here then we will rotate it after that it will go here so location of this connector is very important here and after that this position if we see this contact this contact and when it is connected it will approximately come to this place this place yes this will the last end of this connector so same distance should be here the contact last end should be here so we have to adjust the points these points in this area repeat again this is contact area when it is connected here like this then we will rotate it from this position like this okay and if it is connected here this contact area will be in this this place so the same should be here we have to adjust connector the connector must reach in this area we can adjust it swipe it we can cut it we can uh, we can you know, fix it we will see what to do now the main thing 
our connector must be in this place in this place we can connect this connector exactly the same position positive end should be connected here I will insulate this area so our connector must be in the same position its physical location should not be changed it's the same so if I measure this it have the same distance it have the same distance so this connector will be fixed automatically now we have one problem here so this battery have some dislocation what's that this connector battery terminal it have and other place we will make jumper I will take this jumper so I can connect this jumper from this point to this point this video is good for you you can like subscribe and share if you want it's up to you and if you want to watch my future videos you can press the bell icon button it is not uh, very important for me because I share my experience if maybe someone can take benefit from this I connected jumper here okay now I will connect to this point now insulate it properly so then there is no chance to make short to each other and the position of the connector is the same now now it is in this way now we will see the function of our modification because uh, when you are connecting the connector the position of this connector must be the same while connection we swept or we shifted the location then it's not useful we perfectly connected and we will connect charging cable it's okay I think the fingerprint sensor fingerprint sensor it's connected here install it very carefully this connector lock this connector is ok and the final check now we will install it and we will see the result uh, before this because this, this battery it was swollen swelling too much because when the battery is expired very nice our device is started now before this it was dead battery now we will see if this video is good for you you can like subscribe share if you want and we can see so we will connect charger very nice I removed charger again 
so it's good so we solved the problem of this battery this battery was dead we cannot find the battery this battery i removed this original connector from this original battery for huawei telephone and I installed battery for Infinix telephone. I replaced the connectors. Battery for Infinix now is installed in Huawei telephone and it's working now perfectly. It is charging. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.